if you've ever had a really shaky video but never had the software to destabilize uh, stabilize it, I found the software for you. Go to virtualdub.org, click on the download link, and then download it at SourceForge. Then you're going to need a plugin for it, the DeShaker. Just uh, click download DeShaker at this website. I'll post a link in the side. Alright, so now that you have the program, open it up. It's nothing fancy, but it definitely gets the job done. Drag in your file. So, uh, now that you have your file here, you can uh, play it. The left pane shows the, the original, and the right pane shows what has been done so far. Filters, add a filter. De shaker, make sure it's the first pass. Um, I'm just going to change a few settings. There's a lot of different things you can do with it. It's very flexible. Um, that's basically just leave it as is. If you want to... Okay. Now click OK. Now normally you want to click this, the second play button, but I'm going to repeatedly tap the key button here. I've been having a bit of issues with it, I'm not sure why. So this is the first pass you're going to make. There's three passes total. The second pass will um, stabilize the video. This first pass is uh, just dis determining how much it's going to need to um, cut off and whatnot to make sure that the video isn't all jumpy and shaky. Third pass is the saving pass. You're going to do that after you set um, the compression, how much you want to uh, shrink the video size by so it's doesn't take up as much space in your hard drive and then you're gonna save as AVI and you're gonna play it through okay now it's done push stop go back to the beginning Then click video, go to filters, uncheck that first one, add another filter, do shaker again, make sure it's pass two, not pass one. I'm going to go to adaptive and fixed zoom because that has no borders and I find it works the best for me. And I'm going to change that to 800, 800 just to show you the effects as dramatic as possible. Okay. Okay, it's pretty much preset, but I like to just exaggerate so you can see the difference easily. Okay, so click the second play button. You'll see that it's much, much, much better. So when that's done playing, you're going to want to uh, go to video, compression, switch to this Kodak, click OK, and you're going to go to file, save as EVI, and it will save. You want to click the second play button and it'll run through and save. So that's how to stabilize a video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.